Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm going to show you how I do my smokehouse burgers. We're going to really make these burgers special, firing up the big green egg. We're not just grilling them, we're going to get them in some hickory smoke. They're going to be fantastic. Let's get to cooking. Now these burgers that I have today are going to be a blend of Wagyu brisket and some ground sirloin. It's really what's going to make this mix special. I save all my trimmings from my barbecue comps. I put them in the freezer until I get enough to grind and that's what I'm doing today. So I've grabbed a couple sirloins from the grocery store because I need some lean meat. This Wagyu brisket has got a lot of fat in it and the ratio is really high from fat to lean and I want to balance it out. The fat's going to bring a ton of flavor, a ton of moisture to these burgers, but we need some lean meat too. So I'm going pound for pound Wagyu trimmings and ground sirloin. I grind both of them up separate and then I'm just going to mix them together and that's going to be the foundation for these smokehouse burgers. Now I want a big burger. When I'm thinking steakhouse or a specialty burger, I don't want just a quarter pound of beef. I'm making 12 ounce burgers and I'm going to weigh these out. That's the first thing I do is portion out my meat to a kind of a ball and we're going to weigh it to make sure we get the weight right. Then I'm going to hand form these patties. Now you've worked this meat a little bit and it's been out on the counter some, so it's going to be a little bit looser. To firm them up, once I get the patties formed, I place it in a pan in my freezer just for a little while. It doesn't have to get completely frozen, but we're wanting it to form these patties up and that's what I've got today. Now I know everybody doesn't have Wagyu trimmings at home, but you can go to the store and just get a good mix of a ground chuck, it's got some fat, some marbling in it, and then some sirloin. You can have your butcher mix it for you, or you can bring it home and grind it yourself. It's no problem. It's going to make for a better burger because you're going to get that lean meat and some of that fat meat, and the ratio is going to be right. It's going to hold together, and it's going to be real tasty. The only seasoning I'm putting on the outside of these burgers is that salt, pepper, and garlic. I know you've seen me use it before. It's my AP seasoning. Hey, if you got a favorite burger season, go ahead and use it there. Your favorite all-purpose, it'll work just fine. But I really want the meat to be the star of the show, and we need some savory notes. We need the salt. We need a little bit of heat and the garlic. That's all they really need. We're just going to season both sides. Now our burgers are ready for the grill. I've just got to get my big green egg fired up. And I'm cooking these burgers indirect today. That's why I'm using my big green egg. I've got a good base of lump charcoal in there, a couple wax cubes to get the fire going. I'm just going to let those coals get good and hot. Then I'm going to put my heat deflector in place and get my grate on. I want it set up for indirect cooking. And if you're cooking on any other kind of grill, do the same. We want the temps to be about 275. We're slowing down these burgers. We're not cooking them direct. We're not cooking them hot trying to sear them. We're wanting to get some smoke in them, get some of that good hickory flavor in them, and it's going to take them a little bit longer to cook. When the big green egg temps come up, go ahead and check your vents back. You want about an inch on the bottom and then just crack the top to where the daisy wheel is fully open where you can see the smoke coming out. That's going to stabilize that temp right about 250, 275. That's as hot as we need it. We're going to be ready to get these burgers on the grill. So now that we've got the big green egg up to temp, I'm just going to transfer these burgers over to my cooking grate. We're just placing them directly on the grate over the heat diverter. And they're gonna sit here and cook and absorb some of this hickory smoke we've got rolling. And I just put about three chunks of that grill wood on there. Hickory, you can use your favorite wood. I like the flavor hickory gives these burgers. Now we're just gonna let the burgers cook. We'll check on them about 20 minutes, see how we're doing. We're looking to take them up to about 140. And it's probably gonna take 45 minutes to an hour, but we're not worried about time. We'll start checking those temps here in a little while. Y'all stick around. So I want to make a homemade steak sauce to glaze these burgers. Now you could use a store-bought sauce, but this one's really easy to make. I'm starting in a small saucepan with a little bit of butter and adding some finely chopped onion and garlic. And I'm just cooking them for one to two minutes, just enough to soften it. We're going to add the rest of the ingredients and then we're going to bring it to a boil. You want to stir it constantly and then reduce the heat to simmer and just let it cook for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to strain it and get it in my jar and it's going to be ready to go. All right, our smokehouse burgers have been on about 30 minutes, and I do want to get them cooking on both sides. We've slowed them down a lot, hold them at 275, but I want you to look. You can see how they've shrunk down a little bit, but we've got a lot of fat content in here. We still have a nice, thick burger, but we want to get some of this cooked off the outside, and you let them stay on one side long enough to where they're, they're fully cooked and they won't break up when you turn them. And these are looking great. I'm just giving them a little flip. We're going to finish these off. It's only going to take about 15, 20 more minutes. We'll be right where we want them. So we're just going to let the burgers finish up here. It's not going to take them much longer. I want to go inside and saute some mushrooms, caramelize some onions. We're going to top these burgers with it. You know we got to get some bacon going. We're going to put some good Swiss cheese on them. And i got a special mayo I want you to check out here in just a few minutes. Let's get inside. 
For the caramelized onions and mushrooms, I'm starting with a saute pan and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna slice up a sweet onion real fine and add that to the pan. Season it with a little bit of salt and we're just gonna cook it for about 10 minutes until it starts to caramelize. Then we're gonna add eight ounces of sliced portobello mushrooms and you just wanna cook those until they're soft. We're ready to go. All right, 45 minutes total cook time and I'm seeing 140, 143. These burgers as far as I want them to go. So now I wanna glaze these burgers with that steak sauce we put together. And it's gonna give it a real tangy, flavorful, really goes great with burgers. It's gonna kinda of be a sauce that's gonna cook down on the top of these and we're gonna to top it with those mushrooms and onions here in just a second. Now we're just gonna let this sauce cook down and glaze a little bit on top of our burgers. I'm gonna go grab the mushrooms and onions. We're gonna be ready to top them and then get a little cheese on top. We're gonna to have a gourmet burger before you know it. So now that we've let that sauce cook down a little bit, I'm just gonna top each one of these burgers with some of that mushrooms, caramelized onion. Oh, it looks good. Now on top of the mushrooms and onions, I'm just gonna lay some Swiss cheese. The heat's gonna melt this cheese down pretty quick. We'll be ready to get these burgers off the grill. We're just gonna get the lid closed for a minute now, let it melt the cheese down into the mushrooms, the onions on top of that good Wagyu burger. All right, just after a few seconds, the cheese is melted. These look fantastic. I'm just gonna take them off real carefully, get them on a platter here. Check those burgers out. That steak sauce cooked down on them, caramelized onions and mushrooms. Hey, check out these burgers, man. Doesn't that just look awesome? I could eat those for dinner right there. Let's make a burger. All right, we're ready to build these burgers. And the first thing we're gonna do, we've got a good Kaiser roll that I've just split here. And I've got some roasted garlic mayo. And this was real easy to make. I just took three or four cloves of roasted garlic, kind of minced it up, mixed it in with a cup of mayo and just a little splash of lemon juice and seasoned it with some salt and pepper. This is just something a little more special than regular mayo. That roasted garlic really goes great with the flavors of the Smokehouse Burger. I'm gonna put some on the top and bottom of our Kaiser roll. Put as little or as much as you like. That looks good to me. Now I'm gonna grab one of these burgers and it's going right on top. We've got that Wagyu sirloin blend, caramelized mushrooms and onions and the Swiss cheese. And the last thing it needs is a little bit of this bacon on top, some thick cut bacon we've cooked off in the oven. And we're gonna put that top bun on it. And that is a smokehouse burger if I've ever seen one. Let's cut this dude in half and see what it looks like. I'll tell you what, this burger looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to give it a try. Mm. That's an awesome hamburger. Hey, I'm telling y'all, this burger's juicy. You really get some of that hickory smoke while you slow those burgers down. They had a lot of fat content from those Wagyu trimmings, and that's what's gonna cook down, but it leaves it so juicy inside. Hey, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can also send comments and questions to Facebook and Twitter, we love those. We'll see you guys next time. I gotta finish this burger. Mmm, might be the best burger I ever ate. So juicy.